can you solve this geometry challenge? Here's the question. Given the circle, let's draw a chord like this with a length of 4 units. Now from this endpoint, let's draw a segment which is 6 units and perpendicular to this chord. And let's draw a segment which is 2 units that is perpendicular to the previous segment. Now the question is what is the area of this circle? Now you can pause this video if you want to give this problem a try. And now, let's answer this question together. Alright, so given this figure, our goal is to find or to solve for the area of the circle. Now to answer this question, what we're going to do is to extend this segment, this segment, and we need to make a lot of segment. And here we go. Extend this, extend this segment. For the last time, let's draw a chord like this. And take note, all of these chords or segments are perpendicular to each other. Now, we create right here a rectangle. So we know a rectangle opposite side must be equal. So if this side is 4, the other side is also equal to 4. Like this. And if this is 6, the other side must be also equal to 6. Now, if we draw a diameter like this, and if we flip the circle by symmetry, this segment right over here must be equal to 2. Alright. Now at this point, all of the segments have measurements except for this little piece. Now let's call this as X. Alright. Now let's focus now to the segments that we are interested in. Now. This 4 plus 2, this segment must be equal to 4 plus 2 or simply equal to 6. Now, we can say that x must be equal to 2 by symmetry. But again, we want to show that x must be equal to 2 using some theorem. And we will use this chord chord power theorem. Now, it says, if two chords of a circle intersect inside the circle, then the product of the measures of the segments of one chord is equal to the product of the measures of the segments of the other chord. Now, given this figure, we can say that EV multiplied by EN must be equal to EL multiplied by ES. So, using this theorem to our given circle, we can say that 6x equals 6 times 2 or 6 multiplied by x must be equal to 6 multiplied by 2. Now, we can divide both sides by 6, so we can cancel out 6 right over here, and we can definitely say that x equals 2. Okay, so we can now finally say that x must be equal to 2. Now, from here, we can now solve for the area of the circle because we can now solve for the value of r squared. Because we will use this theorem that relates the radius squared and these four segments. So given this figure, take note that these two chords are perpendicular to each other. So we have r squared or the length of the radius raised to the power of 2 must be equal to w squared plus x squared plus y squared plus z squared divided by 4. Now, using this theorem to our given figure, we can say that r squared must be equal to 2 squared plus 6 squared plus 2 squared plus 6 squared. And we can now focus on this equation to solve for the value of r squared. Now, 2 squared is just 4 and 6 squared must be equal to 36. Now, 4 plus 36, this is 40. 40 plus another 40, this will give us 80 on the numerator. And 80 divided by 4, this will give us 20. Therefore, the value of r squared is simply equal to 20. And take note that the area of the circle must be equal to pi r squared. And we know the value of r squared. This is just 20, so we can replace this with 20. So the area of the circle must be equal to 20 times pi or simply 20 pi. Therefore, our answer to this question, given this figure and what is the area, 
and our answer must be equal to 20 pi square units. And as always, we are done.